we've got a feature wall, okay? And you all know feature walls. And you've got your windows. Another one there. With feature walls, it is very, very, very important as to where you're going to start. You don't start on the right and you don't start on the left. If you have a bold design and a lot of feature walls, that's where the design goes. Big, bold, big colours. If you started here and you worked across and you've got this big design, you know, whatever it is. By the time you get over here, you might have that. Mind you, it is a feature, not the one you want. <laughs> so, when you really think about it, it's quite logical that you actually start in the middle. And when you start in the middle, you work both sides so that you have exactly the same amount of design on both sides. Okay? The paper hanger has got to do a little bit of calculation. If it is a straight match, that is easier than a half drop. Because you may have to move the line a little bit, one side or the other, or you may start one piece there, one, two, or you may have that centre line in the middle of your first piece. Understand what I mean? So it is up to the paper hanger to really check the design and work out. It can take you as long to work it out as it does to hang it because the average feature wall is only maybe three rolls of paper. And if you can't do that in 25 minutes, there's something wrong.